going to show you how I blow dry my hair. My hair is actually um, a sort of, uh, it, it's curly, it's fuzzy curly, it's not necessarily nice curly. So even if I have it curly, uh, which is another look I will show you later on, um, I have to sort of manipulate the curls, I have to scrunch it, but there is a way of doing that, so I will show you how to do it. I am a frustrated hairdresser, I love hair, I love watching people have their hair cut, I love watching other people have their hair blow dried, I'm slightly obsessed by hair. Um, anyway, it's coloured, there's uh, a little bit of grey in there, it's got some of my natural colour, then it's got a sort of goldy colour in there, and then it's got some um, blondy highlights in there. And I haven't seen my own colour hair since I was probably about 14. Um, to blow dry hair, you need a really good set of brushes. These are my preferred brushes. I look after them, I love them. If there was a fire, I would run out with that brush, because that is everything to me. Um, and first of all, I get the dryer and I lift it from the root. And I sort of really partly dry it, more mainly dry it, and then I'm finishing it off with the brushes uh, to get that sort of bouncy effect. I never use straighteners. If I use straighteners on my hair, I look crazy. It just doesn't suit me. Um, so, Harlot's hair dryer, the best hair dryer in the world. George Michael told me that and I have been wedded to a Parlux light forever. I have tried other hair dry dryers, not paid by them at all. I just love them. So, this is a, just a sort of a rough dry. And I'm really going into the roof. Um, I'm rough drying it all over. I move around a lot when I'm going down my hair and I think a lot as well where I, I come up with lists, I come up with things I've got to do, it takes about 20 minutes if I really want to do it. Right, that's taken the damp off it. Now I'm going to get one of these like volumizing tonics. It's quite a light ton. If, if they're too heavy, it's too much for my hair because my hair is quite coarse in any case and there's a lot of it so I don't really go to the ends I always put it in into the roots which is why I use a spray and I don't use mousses I find mousses too hard um, or it's just too much for my hair so right into the roots always into the roots into the roots this one is an Aveda one and it's quite light then I get a hairbrush and I'm going to just lift the root all over, roughly lift the root. And there's always one side of your hair that you can get to easier than the other for that right hand bit. I tend to do, I do the front first because those are the bits that will dry first so I need to attack those quickly. So really, it does react to blow drying quite well. For as woolly as it is naturally, it, rela it reacts to blow drying probably because I'm using the right tools with it.
smooth around your face as well. I need my hair to be soft around my face. And also, if you're going a bit grey, that's where it gets, you know, that little slightly fizzy. So I want to smooth that down around my face. Thankfully, if your hair is blonde, it doesn't become apparent for some time because you can't really see it. And I just swapped brushes there because at the back, it's a little bit longer, and so I just need a bigger barrel on that one. I can use, I can use one brush, but if, I'm, if I've got the luxury of having two brushes, I use them. I've just found that over the years you need to become, especially with my job, it's just quite self-sufficient. Do your own makeup, your own hair, your own clothes, as much as you can. It's lovely and it's a luxury when you've got somebody else to help you. And I've learned so much by having great makeup artists and hairdressers and stylists and things around me. But really, really important to be self-sufficient because you can go anywhere and you know you haven't got to go, oh, I've got to get to the hairdresser or anything like that. So. Um, you know, I like to be able to do it myself. Scrub up myself. And it's a lot cheaper. So much cheaper. And then check over it just to see if I've missed anything. I've got a bit of a flat head, so I always have to sort of push that hair around a little bit there. Um, and then, dependent on the weather and what I'm doing, that so I, you know, this is a couple of days, it will last. And then, again, depends on what I'm doing, then the third day. I'll go, oh, I can't go down, so it ends up something like that, in a bit of a thing, like that, something like that, rushing around, shopping, doing stuff, um, and that's it really. The other look, of course, is the drag through a hedge backwards, as my mother would say, sort of curly look which I will show you another time how I do that one because that's like my, my weekend hair or as my girls call it, my holiday hair.